Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing and Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to restore Windows Photo Viewer in Windows 10. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so on today's video, I'm going to show you how to restore the uh, infamous Windows Photo Viewer in Windows 10. Now, for a lot of users, this has been removed, and uh, a lot of us, especially those in businesses or have been using Windows for a longer time, really love the simplicity and ease of use that you find with Windows Photo Viewer. You could have multiple images, you could send emails quickly straight from an image and various other options. So it was a really, really missed feature in Windows 10. So let's go to the computer and I'll show you how to reinstall it. Now, all this information is available on 10forums.com. I'll put the links in the description below. 10forums.com uh, is a fantastic resource for all Windows information. Um, this is not a sponsored video or a sponsored spot or anything like that, but they do have fantastic information. So definitely worth a look. Like I said, I'll leave the links in the video description. But all that out of the way, let's get on with it and I'll show you how to re-enable Windows Photo Viewer. Okay, so first of all, you want to go over to 10forums.com and the tutorial you want to look for is how to restore Windows Photo Viewer in Windows 10, as we already suggested. So basically it goes through all the uh, information I pretty much told you just then about adding it as a default app and all that kind of stuff. So there's two options. Uh, option one is to restore it for the uh, current user on the system. And option two is the recommended one, and that's to restore Windows Photo Viewer for all accounts on the same computer. So. Let's scroll down and option one. So we have to uh, download these registry entries that we can add. And there's actually four of them. So there's one to actually restore Windows Photo Viewer for the current user. And then we've got the option to undo restore Windows Photo Viewer for the current user. Now you possibly won't want to use that, the undo one. Um, but I would suggest if you are going to do this, download all four of the downloads and put them into a folder in your downloads directory or something just for future use. It is very possible that with future Windows service packs and updates that this feature may be disabled. So it's always useful keeping the registry entries handy just so you can change them or re-add them should you need to. So let's go ahead and download these registry entries and then we'll set it all up. So download that one and we'll go to our downloads section and what we're going to do is create a new folder and we'll call this Restore Windows Photo Viewer. And we'll stick the registry entries in there. So we've got one. Download this one into the same folder. Scroll down a little bit further. And download this one. And a little bit further, and we'll download this one. And we can close that now and close down this window. So if we now go into our downloads folder, and there we've got our four registry entries. So we've got the restore and undo for all users and current users. If I move that along a little bit more, you'll be able to see the full description. So we've got all users, and current user. So depending on which one you want to do, it's entirely up to you. But again, I would keep these registry entries handy. They're very, very small files, so they're not going to take up much room on your computer. So it's uh, worth keeping them. So let's do the restore for current user to begin with. So all we have to do is double click and we get the option for the Windows security. Do we want to run this, etc.? So we'll go ahead and click on run. And we get the UAC and here you say that it's been added to the registry, blah, 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 or do you want to add it to the registry? Do you want to continue? Yes, we do. And there we go, that's been successfully added to the registry. So normally with a, an image, if we right click on it and you choose open with, you've got a few options and now we've got the Windows Photo Viewer option back in. So you can choose to open with Windows Photo Viewer, but if you actually want to set it as the default, there's two ways you can do that. You can choose, choose with another app, and then you can go down to Windows Photo Viewer, choose the tick box there, always open, or always use this app to open JPEG files. You could click OK. So now all your photos will be associated, and there's uh, me and Mrs. Mike's unboxing at the pub. So we'll close that down. Uh, another way of setting your defaults is to go into your Start menu, go to the Settings cog, type in Defaults up here, I'm already on the page, but I'll just show you anyway. So default apps is the section you want. 
which will go to here. And then you can go to your photos or photo viewer, and you can choose an application there. So if you wanted to change back to photos, so we can click on photos. That'll take a little while to repropagate. And there we go, our default viewer is now back to photos. So if we want to change that again, we can now change to photo viewer. And then that'll be a system wide change. So all JPEG pictures now will open in the Windows Photo Viewer. And with this, you've got all these cool options. So you've got to make a copy, all that stuff. You've got nice, easy print options, email, burn to disk. Remember disks? Remember burning disks? That's going back a bit. And obviously, you've got options to open it in another program, all that kind of stuff. And also, you've got the usual things down here. So you've got the zoom, and you can use play and pause if there's movies in here or whatever. Photo Viewer is actually a, a, a really good application, so it's sorely missed, but it's nice to have it back on the desktop now. So there you go, there's a nice easy way of restoring the Windows Photo Viewer to Windows 10. Um, let me know in the comments, is this a good thing for you? Do you enjoy using Windows Photo Viewer, or are you uh, totally sold by the new modern version? Let us know in the comments, I'll be really interested to see what your opinions are. So if this video has been helpful, give the video a like, and don't forget to click on the chime button, and also, subscribe and all that kind of good stuff so you get this kind of content in your inbox on a daily basis. So in the meantime, I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. And if you've got any comments or suggestions on other videos you'd like to see us made, please let us know in the section below. Thanks for watching.